Okay, in this walkthrough, I'm going to show you how we created this ad right here, freely close to the St. Petersburg Florida Fixer Uppers, which is a lead generation ad that pre-fills the contact info of that Facebook has on file for the lead. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to take that information that's been collected from Facebook and use the new API Nation bridge, the new API Nation tool in the KB Core Marketplace to inject the information into KB Core. So it's going to be a two-part video where we first run this ad. And I want to show you how to do this walkthrough and get this kind of ad created. And I'll show you the second part where we bridge the information over. And then finally, at the very end, we'll actually set up some automations so that these fixer-upper leads automatically get fixer-upper listings alerts on a regular basis. All right, so let's get going. First thing we're going to do is hop into the Facebook Ads platform. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and click Create in the Facebook Ads Manager to create our ad. And then I'm going to click on the Lead Generation option. So that's the specific objective that we're going to be using here is the Lead Generation objective. And I'll name my campaign. Click Continue. Now, for the audience, Facebook is changing a lot of things up. They've taken away our ability to do income targeting. We might not even be able to target by gender or age. Um, so we've adjusted here and are finding out that it really doesn't matter. The Facebook algorithm does a nice job of just finding the right people. So the only targeting I'm going to choose is my market, my city. not in Russia right now, we're in Florida, okay? I'll choose within 10 mile radius. We're gonna leave all the other targeting the same. I'm gonna set my budget to 20 bucks a day. You can set it to whatever you want, but these leads will probably come in anywhere from about $2 up to $10 or more, depending on what kind of lead ad you're running. Um, so you wanna set it at least high enough that you can get one lead a day. I like to set it high in the beginning and let it run for a little while just to get a really quick uh, feel for what it is, but at least go $5 a day in the beginning at the very least. Next we'll get to the place where we start to run our ad and what I've been recommending lately is that you actually use for the media you use the video slideshow feature that Facebook has so you're going to click that and then you're going to use the my templates. Now of course you're welcome to just go ahead and use a static image and it'll work um, but I've been loving these templates later so I figured I'll just show you the walkthrough here of how I go about creating a video using their template. It only takes a few seconds. And you can choose any that you want, but I like the ones with one or two images because it just makes life a little bit easier. So I'll pick this one here this time with one or two images. And I'll click Customize. And we have two text areas and we have an image area. So the first thing I'll do is I'll pick an image. Uh, you could pick a flat background. And what I've done earlier is I'd uh, up uploaded a picture of a fixer upper so this is pretty easy i just picked one right here then my first text i'm going to pick uh fixer uppers my background color i might make it red so it pops eh, let's leave it black i thought i would do the whole black part that color but i like it better like this and then see the list now and we'll just keep it really simple and click use video. So just like that, I've got a video I can use in Facebook. Looks like maybe I forgot something. I forgot to do scene two, <laughs> add a logo or small image. So I'm actually turning that off. Now I'll click use video. And all those templates are slightly different. They're pretty simple to figure out. But what I'm learning is that for whatever reason, the Facebook algorithm loves these things and I get cheaper clicks and more engagement on my ads when I use this slideshow template. So it's just going to take a second now. It's going to kind of load up the video, and I can continue with my ad. And what I'll do is I'll just simply go uh, free weekly list. Let's say fixer uppers. Fixer upper properties. If you want to get even better, use the buzzword and upload properties. And then my kind of personal formula is to do a little bracket to say price from. And then usually I would check, but for purposes of them, I'll just say 50,000 
to 950, but you can check on your site, you know, what the range is. You probably know in your market right about where those listings will be. And then my headline will be seeing P fixers. See the list now. Now this will render over on the right side in just a second once the um, everything loads up here. My video is live. It's just rendering. and It'll show me a preview. I show the safety fixer peppers. See the list now. I go learn more. And what this will look like, it's going to refresh my preview. I want to show you what the video looks like really quickly. You kind of saw it in the beginning, but um, I can kind of test it out. There we go. And it makes just kind of a nice little snappy thing that makes people stop and gets their attention. Now, I forgot a very important step. And wow, I, I, I apologize. Do not do what I did. I forgot to choose the right Facebook fan page when I set my targeting. So I'm definitely going to want to do that. I want this attached to my Proportunity Knox page. And you're going to have to, the first time you do this, you're going to have to accept Facebook's terms or it won't let your ad go live. So it seems like, like why won't this ad go live? Why won't, why won't it let me save? That's usually why. You have to go back and accept the terms. So now I have the right page attached. Excellent. Now what I can do is I can go and create my uh, Facebook lead form. Now one note is very frustrating. You can't edit these forms when you go back. I'm actually going to go ahead now and duplicate the older example I made for this, just to save a little time here. And the wizard is pretty simple to use here. What I recommend doing is turn off the intro right here, because it's kind of like a double text. And in the question section, you can type in as I did here, it's a St. Pete fixer up or see the list now. I kind of like to repeat what I said in the ad. And then uh, I noticed with the API Nation that actually you don't want to do full name, delete the full name, and then add, add two separate questions that are the user information first name, and then another one is user information last name, because uh, KB Core doesn't have the ability to map the first name right now. And I like to put them in a logical order by dragging and dropping. And generally what happens is um, you can add other questions and try to pre-qualify people, but if you just leave it to the stuff that gets pre-filled and you don't make the user think, you're going to get better opt-in rates on this. If you do want to get fancy, you could say, hey, are you thinking about buying a house sometime soon and get a little fancier? But I recommend just, um, just don't make them think. Let them submit really quickly with their info pre-filled. Next thing we're going to add is our privacy policy. Um, you just need, you don't need the link text, but you need the link URL. And the privacy link URL is simply your website slash privacy.php. So I'll kind of bring that into focus a little more here. It kind of looks just like that. Okay. And you can get the link at the bottom of your uh, KB Core site as well. And then your thank you screen, the way I do it is I just uh, kind of click to continue to the last list. If you want to get fancy, you can say, or call me now to hear about the best fixes we know about right now. If you want to try to induce a phone call, you can do that. And you just click continue to list with a website link. And the website link, of course, is when you just go to your website and search for the thing you're offering. In this case, I went to the website, searched Fixer Uppers, copied it out of my browser, and that's the link I want people to go to when they click continue to list. So now that that part's done, we're going to hop back into KB Core. We're going to go over to the marketing autopilot. Well, I kind of skipped something. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to need to finish. I apologize. I'm going to need to finish and confirm and make my ad live. Okay? Yeah. Getting a little ahead of myself there. But that's that's it. You're going to finish running the ad. That was the last step was to get the ad live. And usually it takes a few hours before Facebook starts sending traffic. You know, anywhere from a half hour to five or six hours is normal. If you have a new account, it, I've seen it take a day or two. Don't worry. It, it's just completely normal even if it takes a day or two. Anything over two days, I'd start to wonder. Okay, now we're going to go into KV Core. We're going to go to Marketplace, boink, right here. We're going to find our API Nation tile. And click Get This. Click Add to KV Core. And we'll scroll down. You'll notice there are different integrations that they have built in. They have BombBomb, Constant Contact, MailChimp, and this will be growing over time. But for now, we're going to do Facebook. And I'd like to point out at this point that this is really cool. If you tried to do this particular bridging with Zapier.com, which is the way we always have done it, 
in the past um, that we'd be paying 20 to $25 a month for this service. So uh, really cool stuff. You get it for free with API Nation. Save that money, and it makes it a lot easier, too, as you're about to see. The mapping is very simple. So the next thing you're going to do, just go ahead and pop your username and password in to connect KV Core. This is your KV Core username and password. So you pop your email and username uh, password in for KV Core. And then it's going to ask you to connect up your Facebook account. I've already done it here, but it's a very simple step. You're going to want to make sure you're logged into Facebook, and then it'll connect up your Facebook page, your Facebook profile, excuse me, and we'll continue on. And then the next thing it'll do, it'll ask you to select the page. So in this case, the page that I was working on happened to be pre-selected. If you have multiple pages, you can select from the drop-down. If you don't see it, just hit the little refresh over to the right. And then our lead generation form happens to show up. The last one we created will be up top, too. So this is the one I just made in Facebook. Click Save. And now we get to the fun part is when I'm going to start to map over the fields that are coming over from my Facebook lead form. So it tries to map it automatically. But what we're going to do is we're going to do the full name mapping, the phone number, and there's one other thing I wanted to show you and a uh, point I want to make is that you're going to be clicking on the left side and then the right side. You can X these out. And I just noticed something that I'm going to need to change. Uh, and that is that you're going to want to separate in your lead form the first and the last name. It comes over from Facebook as a full name, but KV Core doesn't have a full name field, it looks like. So I'll uh, make sure there's a note in this video when you get to that part. <laughs> I apologize for any difficulties that might cause. Um, but anyway, uh, you're going to map the fields over. And then the final thing I want to show you, please pay attention, is you're going to want to set up a hashtag so that you can control the automations on these leads. So we're going to make a custom field. You see I just clicked the custom field. Let me do it again. Add custom field. I'll call this field hashtag. And then I'm going to give it whatever value I want. So in this case, it was St. Pete Fixers is the value. And make sure you put the hashtag field in there. I'm going to click add field. And the way to map this is you're then going to click it, see how it turns green, and then I'm going to put it in the note field. So again, to make hashtags uh, go into the system, you make a custom field called hashtag, you give it a value, and then you click and map it over to a note. Now I'm going to click the start button. I'm going to try the run now and see what it does. Workflow has started. And you should be able to look in the logs over on the right side. And you can see that it says it's processing. You should be always always able to see what leads have come over, which is very useful. So that's that. At this point, what's going to happen is API Nation is going to listen. This is a good term to use. They're going to listen for the leads that are coming over from that Facebook lead form. So every time you get a new lead form, it's going to then push it in within a few minutes into your KV Core system. Then the next thing I want to point out, we just talked about the hashtags, is I just want to mention quickly how you might go about uh, setting up individual smart campaigns and messages to go out based on those hashtags coming over. And probably the first thing, before we even get into smart campaigns, because this is sort of a shortcut that's going to make things a lot easier, is let's go ahead and instead of worrying about smart campaigns, let's set an automatic alerts to be set up based on the hashtag coming over. So where we're going to go to do that is actually the marketing autopilot page. We're going to click on search alerts. And then we're going to create an alert for the specific hashtag. Now one thing that you may want, and I'm running into this here, you may want to make sure that this hashtag exists or that you have a lead coming over or that it exactly matches. I just created a new one, all right? And then we're gonna simply go ahead and set our criteria. So you put your state, you put everything else here. I have my fixer uppers, right? And basically what we're doing is we're saying, hey, anybody who comes in off this Facebook lead ad, let's send them a list of all the new fixer uppers, frequency, I can pick daily, weekly, and I did offer me a free weekly list, and I'm gonna go ahead and send it daily. And then we can click add alert right there. Now, I actually uh, am using our demo account here, and I don't have the same IDX mapped over, so I'm not able to put the city from the end in here. I kind of switched streams in the middle of the video. But just to give you an idea, that's all you need to do is set the hashtag right here, 
and then set up the actual search. And then when those leads come over via the API Nation Bridge, the follow-up is automatically completed. Now, if you want to get more sophisticated, you can then go to Marketing Autopilot again. At least all these people will be getting auto alerts. And you can set up a separate smart campaign just for these leads. I'm not going to get too far into that. We have a lot of documentation about smart campaigns. But if you wanted to send specific texts, emails, things like that to these leads, you could do it the same way where you create the campaign and you have it triggered based on it being added to that specific hashtag. So that's it, guys. Again, in this video, what we did was we used the new API Nation Bridge to take a Facebook lead ad, we created the whole Facebook lead ad for fixer upper offer, and take all that data and get it pushing into KV Core via API Nation. Feel free to comment down below. If you are watching this in the Facebook group, tag some of your friends. If you're watching this in YouTube, subscribe to our channel. And if you're watching this in the course and you have any questions at all at any time, feel free to email us a support at insiderealestate.com. Thanks.